okay? Uh, but nonetheless, whether it's your first time here or second time, congratulations, all right? Uh, it's been a long road. Excuse What's up, Mike? Great grip. Oh, there we go. You got to put your hand behind your back. Great grip. Keep there we go. Great grip. Don't worry. When you go to basic training, you're going to get great depth and detail on this. I guarantee you. All right. Uh, but nonetheless, it's been a long road for them. Uh, over 100 points of eligibility they show proficiency in. Uh, a lot of time went into this. Time away from work or school or both, okay? Um, and of course, what time did you guys wake up this morning? 3.30. All right, so if you can imagine them getting up at that hour, then coming here on time, and then actually produ for being pro productive, okay? Uh, it's a lot of applicants and accomplishments themselves. Unfortunately, we don't do trophies out for just waking up early, okay? Uh, but nonetheless, congratulations, all right? And uh, thank you for making those personal sacrifices that got you here. Certainly for the ones that you're making in the future, too, right? The military is going to ask a lot from each and every one of their members, all right? Uh, and also their families and friends, okay? So representing a very small fraction of Americans uh, being right now where they are in this room, all right, with about th roughly 318 million Americans who call the United States their home, a third of the nation uh, available for military service. And by, by what we mean by uh, availability is that for men and women ages 18 and 30 to 37, across all 50 states, including Puerto Rico, Guam, and some other countries, 120 other million Americans sharing the very same availability as they do. All right. uh, but what's, a f what's uh, surprising about this fact, we'll call it the pool of availability, is that for this year, 2015, we're only projected to see about roughly 208,000 take the oath of enlistment uh, and become part of the armed forces, right? You might think that to yourself, that's a big number. 208,000 roughly represents the size of Newark City up there in New northern New Jersey, okay? Uh, but in comparison to the 120 million Americans who can be where they are, uh, that number pales, right? Only point, representing 0.17% out of that pool of availability, 0.06%, 6 hundredths of a percent uh, of the entire country, okay? And right now, it's represented right now, are these uh, men and women taking your uh, oath of enlistment? Okay. So I ask that to be in the back of your minds, let it be part of their decision making. That no matter how small or big or whatever the size of this group is in the future is going to be, uh, the privileges that we're giving them right now in this room are enormous. And that is number one, to uphold the values and traditions of the services that they have agreed to be a part of. Uh, behind each and every one of the name tapes, okay, uh, is the service that they're joining into, and there's a long history, heritage, and tradition behind them. Okay. Uh, very soon they'll be a part of it and begin to contribute to it in very real ways. Uh, but on top of this, the biggest privilege out of all of them, all right, is to support and defend the Constitution of the United States. That's a single one thing today that stands to preserve life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness for the same 318 million Americans who call the United States their home. Kind of appropriate that we're coming out of the Fourth of July weekend, right, uh, that we're recognizing that. All right, so what's going to happen here in a few short moments is that we're going to transpire about 239 years of history, heritage, and tradition as they repeat the words of the oath of enlistment after me. Uh, they're about to be part of the same lineage of men and women that stem back into our colonial days of America, right, uh, to where we are today. And like I said before, they'll be a part of that history, heritage, and tradition as the newest uh, members of this uh, the, of the armed forces and begin to contribute to you in very real ways, all right? So applicants, ready to do this? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Any questions? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Applicants, 10. Huh? I have two questions before I begin. I need to hear a yes or no at the end of them. First question, have you been briefed on and do you understand the DOD app for briefing on separation policy and restrictions on personal conduct in the armed forces in UCMJ articles 83, 85, and 86. Yes, yes sir. sir. Do you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion? Yes, yes sir. Raise your right hands. Repeat after me in unison. I state your full name. I, I Mark Jr. Do solemnly swear or affirm. Do solemnly swear. swear. That I will support and defend. That I will support and defend. The Constitution. The Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. Against all enemies. Against all enemies. Foreign and domestic. Foreign and domestic. That I bear, that I bear true, faith, true faith and allegiance, and my allegiance to, the same. to the same. And I will obey, and I will obey the orders of the, orders of the President of the United States, the President of the United States and the orders of and the, orders of the officers appointed over me. According to regulation, according to regulation and the uniform code. The uniform uniform code. Code. Of military justice. Of military, military justice. justice. So help me God. So, so help me God. God. Okay, load your right hand. Let's give them a round of applause, right? And we shake your hand.